Hey guys, what's up? We're back with some more Warframe action, and today we're going to be looking at Korra. Now, I really like the way Korra is. She's very good at providing a lot of things for the team, as well as like being a really good tour de force of herself. The fact that her whip is an exalted weapon that takes into account all melee mods, fantastic. Uh, the fact that Venari provides healing and can also do a lot of damage, fantastic. Awesome. Great. Um, there's just one thing though. Strangle Dome. So Strangle Dome is a bit of a strange ability. It's kinda... Uh, like, it's a bit average for, for an ultimate ability. I feel like this ability could actually get some additional buffs or even like a complete change in the way well not a complete change but a massive change in the way it works which will make this ability really really good now how does strangle dome work in its current form let's go and have a look okay so activate strangle dome in the middle of a bunch of enemies they get tethered to the strangle dome they then all spread out and then they're hanging there for a good half minute uh, affected by duration of course. I think I have 155% power duration which means that you know my dudes are going to be hanging there for quite a while. The additional functionality is if you whip the strength sorry if you whip someone in a strangle dome you end up whipping everyone in the strangle dome. This is fantastic. It means that you can do a lot of damage to your enemies inside the strangle dome. Also, this strangle dome also uh, happens to pull people in, which is awesome. I like that. I like that a lot. But I think right now this is not enough damage for the strangle dome. It should probably do something else. So, what is the big idea? Well, this big idea actually comes from Destiny 2. In Destiny 2, the hunter class, uh, specifically the night stalker class, has something called a tether arrow. Tether arrow? Tether? Well, I don't know. But basically, uh, one of the supers for the Hunter Night Stalker class is they jump up and they fire an arrow. That arrow then lands on the ground and it tethers a bunch of enemies together. And then there is that special bonus where if you shoot one enemy that is tethered, all enemies that are tethered are, te are affected by that damage. So, what would this look like with the Strangle Dome? Well, it would basically look like how it is right now with the whip except it is like that when you use any other weapons so for example let's shoot this corrupted heavy gunner with a lens bomb okay all of the damage that that corrupted heavy gunner has just inflicted has just taken should then be inflicted onto the bombard and the corrupted lancer provided that venari didn't just straight up murder their ass because venari does a lot of damage like i said before so that's the idea. Instead of it just being a whip that spreads the damage all over the place, it should be all damage that spreads the damage all over the place. Not particularly good use of English, but whatever. So once again, bunch of enemies tethered. I'm going to shoot the mower. And at that point, this bomber, uh, this butcher rather, should be dead. That's the idea. Anyway, let me know what you think about this idea. Uh, should be good. It might actually end up being an augment for Strangle Dome. We'll see. Uh, but I would actually prefer this to be baseline simply because Strangle Dome is a little bit weak at the moment. So I think that should be a thing for Strangle Dome. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. I always have a hard time finding the... Ah, wait, here it is. Bye!